Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy, the Mad Tiger, and up here today, guys, um, with some really exciting news. I've just seen it right this moment, the news is just broken, and I wanted to do these sort of up-to-date gaming videos and keep in touch with what's happening in the gaming world. Fucking hell, that's light. Um, and today, guys, um, some good news is, is that, guys, if you're a fan of Star Wars, rejoice. LucasArts is back! Oh yes guys, LucasArts is back. For those of you who don't know who LucasArts were, uh, they used to be a video game developer back in the day under uh, George Lucas of course and other sort of people obviously and they made some of the greatest Star Wars games of all time. The original Star Wars Battlefront, the old Republic games, the Republic Commando and so many more. Um, basically, LucasArts pretty much got dismantled when Disney took over Star Wars, and then EA took over Star Wars. And the thing is, guys, since um, EA have taken over the rights to the Star Wars video games, we haven't really had a, a really decent Star Wars game. We've only really had the Old Republic game on PC, which I did enjoy, and it's still going to this day. And we've got the mobile games like the um, Galaxy of Heroes and so forth. And then obviously we've only really had Battlefront 1 and 2. Now those games are fine in their own right. But no, uh, people are still um, weren't overly happy with those games. Um, there is, um, and EA have basically fucked over Star Wars. As of late, um, the Battlefront games um, not de meet, uh, meeting demands, the open world Star Wars game being cancelled, Star Wars 1313 being cancelled, and so many other games that were kind of come out from the Star Wars universe being, you know, just cancelled and just shoved to the side and nobody really cared about them. Which is, 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 is it, it sucks because we haven't had a, an amazing Star Wars game in a while. And, um, you know, fans like me, like Star Wars fans, are a little bit disappointed in that. Now, we do have the upcoming Jedi um, Fallen, I think it's called the Fallen Je um, Order or something. The Jedi Fallen Order or whatever it's called, which is going to be a story-driven game set after the Order 66 and you play as a Padawan who's survived the Order 66 and, and basically wants revenge. So uh, we're hoping kind of it's going to be sort of like a, 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 a spiritual successor to say the Force Unleashed. But now that um, LucasArts is back, yes it, they are back, I've just seen the official announcement. Um, uh, there's a lot of reasons why they probably decided to bring LucasArts back, uh, mainly be mostly because um, EA haven't really done much with Star Wars in terms of video games. Um, what they've been putting out um, over the last few years hasn't really met the standards of what Disney want from Star Wars. Um, a lot of people were very... Um, displeased the fact that Disney owns Star Wars now and I don't I personally don't care that Disney owns Star Wars I think it's great because they can sort of push Star Wars and make it bigger and better and stuff like that now that they've got more money behind it so Star Wars can get bigger and better um, but now that we've got LucasArts back, it's exciting because guys we will be getting more Star Wars games and I want to know what sort of Star Wars games you want to see. Um, a lot of, um, I've seen a lot of suggestions going around um, and a lot of rumours going around. We might see the um, Star Wars Battlefront 3 game that we never got, the one that was um, halfway through development and then got cut. Um, it'd be awesome if they revived that game and made it like the original Star Wars Battlefront um, Front 3. Um, that would be amazing to see that game revived. Uh, the Star Wars Force Unleashed 3 is obviously another one that a lot of people are hoping to see um, come back. Um, the Knights of the Old Republic 3, that's probably number one on people's list. Uh, the Old Republic, it would be awesome to see the Old Republic game come to consoles. I don't know if that will ever happen. But it would be awesome if they could translate it to consoles. Um, if not, we get the Knights of the Old Republic 3. That would be an amazing an amazing announcement. Um, will we see these older Star Wars games being revived, like 1313, the open world Star Wars game, like the Han Solo game, the Boba Fett game, the Darth Maul game we never got? Um, and uh, there's a lot of suggestions going around, and um, I'd like to see, you know, 
now that LucasArts are back, is it just going to be in, in this sort of PC and uh, console development? We might see more mobile games, possibly even um, the Galaxy of Heroes game being transferred to LucasArts. And then maybe LucasArts will... Um, will be able to push that game in the right direction. I, I like the Galaxy of Heroes mobile game. I've been playing it since it came out. Um, but there's a lot of the uh, problems in the game that they still haven't addressed. And it's all right them giving us Darth Revan after all these years. But still, you know. Um, so I don't know what's happening with the games that EA have already got out at the moment. Like Star Wars Battlefront 2, The Old Republic and the mobile games. I don't know if those games are going to be cancelled or shut down. Or if EA are going to lose the rights to those games. Um, I don't know. I, it's something that we're going to have to sort of look into and um, this is a story that I'm um, keeping in touch with and any more news and stuff I will try to do little videos and stuff like that and keeping up to date with that sort of thing. Um, I'm excited because LucasArts um, made some fantastic Star Wars games in the past. Yeah they made a, a fair share of bad ones but what company hasn't? Um, with the Fallen Order game coming out and it's being made by Respawn, the same company you've done Titanfall 2 and of course um, the Apex Legends game. A lot of people are quite happy that Respawn are able to make pretty solid games in terms of multiplayer but a lot of people seem to forget that Titanfall 2 actually had a fantastic story single player um game mode as well um i personally haven't played it i'm just going off of what everyone else has said and uh, a lot of people say how underrated the story mode in that game is so i don't really have any doubts about the fallen order in terms of how good it's going to be i just sort of am a little bit like Ooh, are EA going to be able to handle this right and are they going to be able to get this game out and is it going to be supported are they going to update it and keep it going or is it just going to be another flop like Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2 oh um that being said guys um I think LucasArts being revived is the best thing that can happen to Star Wars video games in in a long time um, like I said, the main reason for it is probably because EA really haven't done much with the Star Wars um, license in terms of video games as of late. I know EA have always sort of been the producers and stuff like that, um, and developers for, for or whatever they are for um, Star Wars game over the years. But it was still LucasArts that were, you know, producing and creating these amazing Star Wars games. Um you know, and yes, we have had the Lego Star Wars games, which are fine, um, but we, we, we still haven't got that amazing Star Wars game at the moment on console um, that, that just, just makes everyone go, wow, you need this Star Wars game. This is the Star Wars game. Um, being a big fan of Star Wars, I, I, I feel a bit disappointed that we've lost out on so many great titles that could have been and just never seen the light of day, um, whether that was because EA fucked him over or Disney fucked him over or whatever. Um, it's nice to see that Disney have now sort of um, come to their senses and given it back to the company that created some of the masterpieces. Um, a lot of people are saying that, you know, not only will we see some sort of revived older Star Wars games, there could be possibilities of new Star Wars games and sort of new IPs, which I, for one, would love to see some more original Star Wars stories, um, ones that aren't based on movies, you know, original ideas, you know, like the Shadows of the Empire uh, on the N64 was, um, you know, Republic Commando, these original ideas, um, a lot of people could be saying, you know, there's also the uh, strategy Star Wars games. We could see like the Empire War games or the Battlegrounds game. Um, and there could be something along the lines of the Flight Sim Star Wars game, you know, like the X-Wing TIE Fighter games. Um, and and I personally really, really am, am glad to see that, you know, they're taking the right steps and doing this now. Is it going to happen anytime soon? I don't know. It's, it's a story that we're going to have to keep an eye on and, and just keep and just keep going with it and just hope for the best um, and hope that Disney, you know, keep this on the highest possible, um, possible you know, um, priorities because, yeah, Star Wars is, you know, we get the movies and the TV shows, but the, you've got to bear in mind a big 
um, fan base of Star Wars do like good video games. And yes, we can all say if you like the the fun, the great ones, check out this one, this one, and the older ones. That's fine, but. You know, with the PS5, the Xbox 2, this new Google console coming out and all of these upcoming systems, um, you've got to wonder what is next for Star Wars video games. And now that LucasArts has been revived or kind of been revived or is being, re or is being revived or whatever it may be, um, I think this is a step in the right direction. And I wanted to do a small video just sort of sharing my excitement. And for those of you who don't haven't seen the announcement, you can hear it from me. So guys, if you like these sort of videos where we talk about modern things that are happening with video games and stuff that's happening right now um let me know because i wouldn't mind doing more of it comment below as well let me know what star wars games you're hoping to see revived or any ideas for some new star wars games do you think this is the right the right um, move or do you actually like ea what they're doing with star wars i don't know it's a uh, personal opinion i personally am happy for lucas arts coming back and of course, guys, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and join the family. And to check out all of the links in the description below for social media and so forth. And as always, have a nice day. I'll be playing some Overwatch tonight, checking out the new character and seeing if he's any good. I don't know. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.